Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the MJX Bugs 5W drone. This is a GPS altitude hold drone with 5G Wi Fi FPV streaming. It has a 1080p wide angle lens HD camera and it has plenty of automated features such as auto takeoff, auto land, and waypoints. So let's take a closer look at this drone. Now the drone comes in this cool yet simple uh, rectangular black box and as you can see it says Bugs 5W showing the drone right there in the center and it's from MJXRC and it's for ages 14 plus. So very nice simple layout. Here on the side you can see a view of its transmitter and on the other side uh, showing again the transmitter and the uh, articulating 1080p uh, HD camera and on the back another view of the drone and here it talks a little more about its features uh, shows uh, GPS um, independent ESC's 2.4 gigahertz two-way communication between the transmitter and the drone brushless motors uh, 1500 kV 1806 uh, has point of interest follow me so plenty of nice uh, features there so without further delay let's take a look at what's inside here so we'll open the box here and right here at the top we have a little bag with um, instructions and um, a quick start guide and some stickers so very nice right there Let's pull out the styrofoam here. Right there. So let's set this down. So here we have the drone right here, nice and neatly laid out. We have its battery. Uh, let's see, this is a charger or at least part of the charger here the uh, battery here is the drone very nice with its tilting 1080p HD camera I'll set that there here we have the um, second part of the charger so very nice there here is the um, mobile device mount that goes on the transmitter so cool here's a screwdriver and a um, kind of like a, a little set of pliers there to probably uh, change the propellers here are spare propellers four of them and right there at the bottom is the uh, transmitter so let's pull that right there. and it has folding antennas here and it has a an LCD display right there at the bottom so very nice so let's organize all this and take uh, one last look at the contents of the box now taking a last look at the contents of the box we have the drone itself it's 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp lipo battery four spare propellers screwdriver small plastic pliers to change the propellers the transmitter the mobile device mount for the transmitter a micro usb cable uh, the charger which has a couple of parts there the instruction manuals stickers and a quick start guide so those are essentially the contents of the box now let's take a closer look at the drone now taking a closer look at this drone this is a super cool looking drone. It kind of resembles either a uh, mantis or a grasshopper with its uh, sharp tail there at the back. And uh, just has a very unique and interesting look from the uh, Bugs line of quadcopters from MJX. But very neat looking. Uh, it has uh, four brushless motors. Uh, they're 1500 kV 1806 brushless motors. So. Uh, very powerful, very fast. Uh, right here at the bottom, there is its uh, 1080p 
wide angle tilting camera and it does tilt 90 degrees so that's very cool um, and as you can see the quadcopter is very well lit with its uh, bright LEDs on the sides there and right here with its bug eyes uh, it has um, nice uh, landing legs there that are already pre-constructed and pre-set uh, there out of the box so it does give a good amount of um, clearance there for the camera and right here in the back of the camera is its SD card slot so right there you would insert your SD card for um, storing onboard footage or pictures and as you can see there's kind of a um, gimbal system there with uh, four uh, dampers actually three dampers and so that should minimize uh, any form of jello in your footage so that's very good and just a uh, neat design there uh, now interestingly enough the package did not come with propeller guards so uh, this is the uh, main setup out of the box and uh, the propellers are already installed initially, but if you had to exchange them, uh, you have these uh, screwable pieces here that you would uh, screw the propellers in. Right here on the back is its uh, battery bay, uh, where you would uh, put the proprietary 7.4 volt 1800 milliamp LiPo battery. And it has a lock system right here to lock the battery in place. And there is no on-off switch here. The quadcopter activates as soon as you insert the battery all the way in and lock it in place. And so, let's take a closer look here at the uh, battery. Uh, there's a little latch here that you just simply open. And then you just remove the battery. And as mentioned before, this is a 7.4 volt, 1800 milliamp, 25C LiPo battery. And it is proprietary, but let's take a look at its charger. The charger is kind of interesting. It does come with a proprietary charger here. And um, one part of the charger is simply a micro USB cable. So you would connect that. Then you have your balance charger here. And then you have the... Um, port or connection here now the interesting part about this is you can actually still use a hobby charger with this because if you remove this part right here which is a standard connection right here so once you connect the uh, battery in there to charge and you have this setup right here you can actually use like a hobby grade charger something like um, this one right here uh, like a 20 watt b3 charger and so now you can plug this part in here which is pretty standard there as you can see here so now you can use a hobby type charger to charge this proprietary battery uh, thanks to this um, connection here this wired connection here so um, that's really cool uh, and this will charge it in a lot less time using the um, uh, out of the box balance charger uh, this can take anywhere from 90 minutes to 120 minutes to charge uh, while if you use a hobby grade charger you can charge it in much less time uh, maybe even half that amount so uh, that's very cool and now this battery does provide the quadcopter with about a 15 minute flight time so that's also very neat too so now let's take a closer look at the transmitter now taking a closer look at the transmitter, this is a very nice, comfortable, smoothly shaped uh, transmitter. It does take four AA batteries here in the back, four AA's, as you can see. And it does require a small bit of installation right there at the top. There are a couple of pieces that you just simply snap into place for the uh, mobile device clip or mount. And it does give uh, plenty of space for a, um, a large mobile device and in this case maybe even a small tablet but uh, not enough for uh, maybe a very large tablet 
and it does have these foldable antennas that I'm not sure if they're for aesthetic reasons or they're actually utilized, but they are uh, large and uh, they may be used because this does have a tremendous amount of range. Uh, so now going over the controls a bit, we have the uh, left throttle stick and right rudder stick. We have the uh, GPS switch right here, so you can turn it off, on and off uh, GPS, whether you want to use the GPS or not, or just fly in manual mode. Here is headless mode, so you turn the switch if you want to enter headless, or turn it off if you don't. You have your on off switch. Uh, these two uh, switches that appear like trim switches are disabled. They're just uh, wedged in there. They don't move. Uh, here's your auto takeoff auto land button. Here's your lock and unlock button for the uh, motors to turn on and off the uh, rotors. Here's your return to home button. Here's your uh, picture and video button. So a short press will take a picture and a long press will start recording video. And then you can long press again to... Uh, stop recording video There are a couple of buttons here in the back that are also uh, Disabled as well. They're not utilized. They're just wedged in there and then uh, Last but not least there's a um, tilting wheel here and that's to tilt the camera So you can tilt the camera up like this and then tilt it down like this so pretty cool and then right at the bottom there's a um, uh, an LCD display as you can see here and here's your signal strength here uh, shows you your number of satellites and if you're connected to uh, or if you're actually using GPS mode with this little icon here of a satellite here's your height and distance right here is your mode whether you're using the um, controller in mode 1 or 2 and then here's your transmitter voltage or um, battery life and your receiver uh, battery voltage so basically the battery power on the quadcopter and the battery power on the transmitter so that's essentially it for the uh, transmitter and uh, just a very comfortable very cool looking transmitter uh, there aren't any flip buttons to note or any uh, rate buttons uh, but uh, all the other controls or standard controls are here. So now let's take a closer look at setting this up for a first time flight and for um, using the app. Now setting up the drone for its first flight is pretty straightforward. Once all your batteries have been uh, fully charged, the first step is to um, insert the battery into the quadcopter like so. And then make sure you lock it in place by turning the latch. So once that's locked into place, you're going to turn on the transmitter and you have to push the um, uh, lock button, keep it pressed and then turn on the transmitter to make sure that it binds. So now it's bound. Um, the next step is to uh, perform a compass calibration and that's pretty straightforward. While the drone is flashing like this in yellow, you first rotate the drone clockwise on the horizontal axis for about three turns until it turns green. So you just turn it like this a few times. And now you'll notice that it's green. So now you have to rotate it on its vertical axis. So you point it downwards and then just rotate it uh, about three times clockwise as well. until the drone changes color like that. And then at that point, uh, the compass has been calibrated and the drone now is just awaiting GPS lock. Uh, one recommended step is to calibrate the gyros and you wanna make sure that this is on the ground level, flat and not moving. And the way to do that is to bring both joysticks uh, down and to the left, like so and you will notice a rapid green blinking like that and then it'll stop. So uh, you'll be like this for a couple of minutes uh, with uh, red and yellow lights and then once the yellow lights in the back turn green 
you have GPS lock and you're ready to take off and it will remember its home point. But now that everything has been bound, calibrated, and the compass has been calibrated as well, uh, you want to take this moment to uh, enter the drone's Wi-Fi and connect the app. So let's do that step right now. So once in your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings, you want to look for this entry right here that says bugs and it'll have a serial number there. So once you're connected to that, which initially there is no default uh, Wi-Fi password or anything like that, uh, you next want to enter the app. And this is the app right here, the Bugs Go app, which is the app that's used for uh, most of the MJX quadcopters. So once you enter that, you will see uh, a listing here of many of the MJX uh, quadcopters, Bugs line of quadcopters. And this model right here is the, um, uh, right here, the Bugs 5W, right here, Bugs 5W. So you wanna connect to that. And then right here, there's some help instructions. And here you can enter your photo gallery to see uh, videos and pictures that you've taken. But in this case, we're just going to go straight ahead and connect to the drone. And initially, there are some uh, um, help uh, related material shown right here. But um, right now, we're going to enter the drone's uh, live feed here. And as you can see right away here, we have a live feed with the quadcopter right there and the range of the live feed is very good since this is 5g wi-fi uh, this has about somewhere between 100 to 200 meters of wi-fi uh, 5g wi-fi fpv and the control range on this is about uh, 300 meters so a very good range for both uh, control and uh, fpv so now going into the app a little bit, this is a very feature rich app with all of its uh, GPS features. This does have uh, follow me um, and uh, waypoints and point of interest. So it flies around uh, in a circular pattern to shoot uh, things. So plenty of features with this app. So let's kind of briefly go over them uh, right away here. We have uh, this icon here for your photo gallery. This icon here will put the um, the uh, app in FPV mode here so you can put it in goggles. This will allow you to flip the uh, camera video feed if necessary. Uh, this will remove all the um, heads up display so that you can see things a little clearer. This shows you your number of satellites connected this shows you some settings and parameters. You can increase your maximum flight altitude, uh, your maximum flight distance, your maximum flight radius. Uh, you can do a lot of those things. Here, it has a checklist of all the things that you can calibrate and the statuses of those things. Um, right here, it says the status, aircraft connected. This shows you your distance, your height, the battery percentage on the quadcopter, battery percentage on the transmitter, the signal strength. Um, this shows if you're connected to the Wi-Fi signal or not. Uh, right here, this button toggles between taking videos or pictures. So you can push that to take video and push that to take pictures. And here's the actual button that will take the pictures or video. Um, here's a, a picture in picture view of a map of where you're currently located and you can switch back to the main FPV view this is your return to home button this icon right here will do the surround or um, orbit mode and so once you push that um, you can have the aircraft go in orbit mode here is follow me mode right here so you push that and the aircraft will follow the uh, mobile device because there is no GPS built into the transmitter. So it will follow the GPS coordinates of the uh, mobile device that you're currently using. 
And then last but not least, this is your waypoints mode. Um, so once you're in that mode, you can um, specify a point or points on the map and um, the aircraft will fly those points. So uh, pretty nice, uh, those three main GPS features of follow me, uh, orbit and uh, waypoints are very cool. And um, overall, this is a neat flyer, very fast, uh, very agile, and um, just very precise. So let's take her for a flight and see how she performs.